Hi guys, in this video we will see how can we archive our tables. So if our instance is running from a very long time, it is likely that we accumulate a lot of data which is no longer relevant like the incident table which has been there for maybe 2 or 3 or 4 years. Uh, there might not be relevance of the incidents which have been opened since 2 years. Okay, And also this old data may have an impact on your reports or queries so it's better to archive the data you may have some policy in your company to archives archive the data or destroy the data okay so it is wise to uh, archive the data on a regular basis so to do that you have to activate one of the plugins called data archiving if it's not already activated so it's free of cost and you can see here you just have to go and install that so after activating this plugin, a new module will come up here called System Archiving. You have to create an archive rule for all of the tables which you want to archive, maybe incident, problem or any anything. Okay. So when I go to archive rules, there are some out of the box uh, archive rules already created in my out of the box instance. Okay. So what I will do is uh, I will go ahead and create one. Okay. And when I click new, I can name uh, name it anything. Maybe I'll do it for security incident. And I'll select the table name as security incident. And you will see in this list how the uh, uh, the tables which don't have any archive rule will only show up. Okay, so I have typed incident. So the incident table will not show up because there is an out of the box tool already for that. So what I, I will do is uh, to take an example, I'll create one for security incident and I will have some conditions there. Maybe uh, active is false and I will archive the data which has been closed for maybe, uh, you know, over an year. Okay. So I will say at or before in last 12 months. Okay. So any data which has been older than 12 months will be archived in this table. So a new table will be created under this archive table called AR underscore uh, whatever the table name is. And it will keep on adding the records and deleting from the main table. Okay. And if there uh, you want to specify any parent uh, archive rule here, you can do that as well. There is a button called re recalculate estimate. So when I recalculate estimate, it will show me the estimated records which will be archived. Okay. So you can see here there are, there will be 211 records which might be archived this night whenever uh, the archive rule runs. Okay. Also, you can see you can archive the related records. Okay, if I want to archive uh, maybe the knowledge articles which were used to resolve this incident, so I can do that. Even I can clear or I can delete the related records. Okay, so if I choose to archive them, I can go in the reference and all the related fields will show up here. And maybe I can see uh, select the attached knowledge. So whatever the attached knowledge articles will be here, they will be saved uh, in the archive table. Okay, and you can give the reference table name here as well. Okay, from where the reference record is being pulled from. Okay, so I will not uh, create any one now. I'll discard this, and then you can see another tab called archive run, which will have the logs of jobs which have run in the archive okay so if my job is running every day it will show me what what was the start time end time and how long did it uh, actually run and any error messages or anything or what is the state of of the archive job okay and this is all about archive rules so once you set up this uh, all the records which are older than one year will be saved a new, newly created table here and it will start with AR underscore security underscore incident. So for example, if I go to uh, archive email, you can see the table name 
as ar underscore sys underscore email okay and then we have archive destroy rules so this is for permanently deleting the records so um, for example if you can see here uh, the, there is an out of the box record for deleting the emails so any emails which you want to delete over a period of time you can create a destroy rule for that okay so i will create a new destroy rule so uh, notice how you can see only the table names which are showing here there are only three tables here for which the archive records is active okay so you can only delete the and uh, table records for which archive is set up okay so if i go ahead and do it for security incident phishing and maybe i can say test here also specify the duration after how much time the records will be deleted after they are in the archive table so maybe i can say uh, 365 days so after a record has been inserted into the archive table and it is there for 365 days or one year it will be automatically deleted so this record is actually in global applications so i will go ahead and select global application and i'll select again the active and then i'll say test and i will say 365 days and i will save this Again, uh, if you see at the related re list, you can see uh, how many times this job actually r ran and how how much data it has actually deleted. What's the status? Okay, so this is the archive rules and the destroy rules, which helps your instance running more smoothly and deleting or archiving the old records. Hope you guys like this video. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.